Hi everyone, my name is Georgina and welcome to my yoga channel. This is Flow with Georgina. I created this channel so that I could share my love for yoga with you. <laughs> and I hope you enjoy. In this class, we are gonna be doing a wrist free flow. And by that, I mean we're not gonna be putting pressures on our wrists. So we are gonna be avoiding downward dog or any high planks, you know, anything that puts pressure. You might see me use my wrist, you know, with fingertips, that is fine. So I like you to find what works best for you. You don't have to copy exactly what I'm doing. I want you to find the movement according to your body and according to how you feel about your wrist, right? I'm just here to help guide you and I hope you have fun, all right? So when you're ready, all you need is a yoga mat and we'll start right away. Way. All right, we're gonna start by standing at the top portions of our mats. I like your feet just a thumb apart, so measure the distance right between your big toes here. And then your hands by your sides, palms facing forward. This is our mountain pose. Relax your shoulders. And if you're anteriorly tilting, I want you to just tuck it right in. A neutral pelvic tilt, making sure it's not posterior either. So just relax your body. Neutral tilt. Hands by your sides, but engaging the core. So I want you to tuck in your rib cage, right? Your navel is drawing in towards your spine. This is our strong mountain pose. Now take a deep inhalation through the nose. Exhale slowly through the mouth. Beautiful job. One more time and maybe close your eyes. Inhale through the nose. And exhale as slow as you can. Good job. Open your eyes. <laughs> Inhale. Reach your hands up. Look up. Exhale. Palms out. Swan dive down. Straight back. And stay where you can keep your back straight and maybe get a bend in your knees. Now you can glue your thighs and belly here for your first Uttanasana. Maybe rocking your fold forward and back. And we're doing that again. Inhale to come up. Look up. Exhale, palms out. Swan dive down. Forward fold. Wherever you are in your fold, you can give a massage here with your legs. And last one. Inhale to rise. Look up. Exhale. Swan dive down. <laughs> And you can hug your knees, get a glue with your belly and thigh here. You could even grab your elbows together and hang your head heavy. So now I'm leaning on my thighs, right? From here, you're gonna straighten your knees slowly and bend. We're just loosening our hamstrings by standing. Straighten and bend. Being gentle with your body and notice I'm not losing my belly and thighs connection. This is going to be beneficial when you get used to it as you transition to different yoga poses. All right, now you're going to reach your hands up, bend your knees still and sink your hips down for our first Utkatasana chair pose, making sure when you look down, you can still see your toes. Breathe in and out. Making sure you're also tucking in your rib cage, holding this for three. Breathe two. And one, just come back to stand up. Beautiful job. <laughs> now hands on your sides here. You're gonna lift that right knee. Slowly with control, keeping your balance. You can hug your knee as you send it close to your torso here. For three, drop it down. For two, <laughs> drop it down and send it in for one. Now you're gonna try to release your hands but still keeping that knee up. 
You're gonna swivel your right knee to your right side here. Keep it up, hold it, your hands to your waist. Now you're gonna straighten that right leg, point it for one. Keep it hovered and back up. Four, two. Up, last one, four, three. Send it up and drop it all the way down. <laughs> Beautiful job, shake your legs. We're doing it on the other side. I'm just gonna face here so you can see my left leg. All right, left knee in. Help your hands or your knees with your hands. Send it in for one. Drop it down for two. Drop it down. And last one for three. Release the hands. See how high you could leave it there. And swiveling that left knee to your left side. Good job. <laughs> Holding. Hands can be placed on your waist. And straightening the left leg pointed for one. Bring it up. Still hovering for two. You got this. <laughs> bring it up. And last one. Three. And bring it up. Hold it. And drop it all the way down. Shake your legs. <laughs> Beautiful job. <laughs> now, this time, inhale as you reach your hands up. Drop down your hips and bend your knees. Utkatasana or chair pose. Holding again for three, two, and one. Now, you're not going to release the legs and just placing your hands to your heart center as you lift that right leg up slowly just hover it and then see if you could lean more forward as you send that right leg behind you dropping it slowly drop your heel to your warrior two position so your back foot will be in a 40 60 70 degree angle as your right hand reaches forward and up and over behind you as your left hand is in front of you good job this is our warrior two look forward Making sure that that front knee is in line with your front heel. Breathing. Holding this position. Good job. Now right hand drops down as you also pivot the back foot to the warrior one position as you send both of your hands up. Sink down a little bit deeper here. Maybe pulse it up and down. Just baby pulses. Being gentle with our bodies. Don't forget to breathe. <laughs> All right, right hand goes behind you. Pivot the back foot, warrior two. Sink a little bit lower. Again, drop the right hand down, warrior one. Pivot the back foot, lower. Good job. <laughs> Who burning, right? You feel it. And that's what we're trying to do. All right. Now, you're just going to face the side of your mat here. You're going to pivot both foot now or feet is facing the side of your mat. Reach up to inhale. Stretch your side body and fold all the way down for a wide-legged fold. Yummy stretch. You can grab your ankles, your shins or your calves, you could even drop your forearms on the mat if you can reach it. No forcing, you can rock it forward and back. Loosening our legs, staying with your breath. And now you're going to come to your fingertips without the pressure on your wrist, right? So try to balance this way, straight back. And you're going to fold down and up. Just loosening our spine, warming it up. Breathing in here. Being gentle with your body. As you transition to warrior two on the other side, right hand goes in front of you and left hand behind you. Look to your right, making sure again the knee is in line with your heel. Breathe. Drop that left hand down as you pivot the back foot to our warrior one position. Beautiful job. Now, 
Try to see if you could go down again deeper or lower here. Give it a baby pulse. Back uh, up and down. Making sure you're not puffing out your chest or back bending. We're doing this strong warrior one. Tuck in again your rib cage. Pulse it. Back to warrior two. And warrior one again. Good. <laughs> warrior two. And warrior one. Mm -hmm. All right, now you're gonna step that front foot or back foot to meet the right foot. And then from here, we're just gonna do tiptoes and down, okay? But this time, if, I, if you tip your toe, I want you to squeeze your glutes or your butt cheeks, right? So imagine if you have a paper stuck just, you know, in your butt crack. <laughs> um, if you squeeze your glutes, right, the paper will, stuck there, will stick there. And that's what we're gonna do, right? For 10, squeeze the glutes, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, squeeze the glutes, four, three, squeeze, down, two, and last one. Squeeze, 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 and all the way down. <laughs> Good job. Now, bend the left knee, and you're gonna lean forward as you send the left leg back slowly, Dropping it all the way down to Anjaneyasana. So adjust your stance here. Knee again in line with your heel. And drop the back knee. Back toe is untucked or pointed. And you're just going to give this Anjaneyasana some pulses. So up and down, being gentle with your body. Loosening up our hips. Breathing. <laughs> Ooh. Now you can drop your fingertips on the mat without pressure on your wrist. You're gonna shift your weight back slowly, sending your, uh, making your front leg straight here. Flex the front toe, breathing in here. You can give your leg a massage or maybe some chop. <laughs> All right, now shifting your weight forward, coming to Anjani Asana, and shift your weight back again, Ida Hanumanasana, or low half splits, flex the front toe. Doing this over and over, front and back. Shift forward and back. Last one, shift forward, Anjani Asana, and half splits. Good job. Now from here, you're gonna bend that front leg and your shin will drop down on the mat. Pigeon pose. Now in your pigeon, I want your front knee to be sticking out to your right, so it's not in line with your torso. You wanna open it up so that your butt cheeks can be really open and this feels better for your pigeon, right? So you wanna wiggle this left and right. Staying with the breath. Okay, so you're gonna lean forward and come back up. Now, hands to your sides as you lean forward and bring it up for one. Lean forward and up for two. Lean forward and up, one, good job. Now place again your fingertips on the mat, no pressures on the wrist. And then you're gonna straighten that front knee coming to this middle splits. So if you're way up like this, that's fine. Wherever you are in your practice, don't force it, just stay where you are. <laughs> now you're gonna have your fingertips, of course, support you here in front of you. Uh, toes are both flex, pointing up. And you're gonna wiggle again, forward and back. Breathing. Now drop your forearms on the mat. Doesn't matter if it's this way or this way, however you feel here. Now I want you to point your toes and flex. Point and flex. Point 
and flex, point and flex. All right, come back up. Now you're going to bend the left knee here, coming to pigeon on the other side. Now wiggle again your pigeon, adjust yourself, making sure the left knee is uh, pointing outside or to, the, to your left here. Wiggle your pigeon, untuck the back toes. All right, so leaning forward and hands place to your sides and come back up for three. Lean forward gently, come back up for two. Lean forward and last one, come back up for one. Beautiful job. Drop your fingertips on the mat, wiggle some more. Whew. And now this time, you're gonna help to come up with your fingertips without forcing your wrist. You're gonna untuck the, uh, tuck the back toes and lift the back knee. Now you're gonna have that front foot um, flat on the mat as you drop your back knees and untuck the back toes. Anjaniyasana, you can place your hands here on top of your left knee and you're just gonna sink down a little bit deeper. You could even give it a pulse up and down, being gentle with your body. Of course, staying with the breath. All right, now fingertips down on the mat. <laughs> Half split, send your hips back. Slowly and flex the front foot. This is our Ardha Hanumanasana. And forward again, Anjaniyasana. Ardha Hanumanasana. Forward, low lunge, and half splits. Flex the front toe, and forward again, and back. Last one, forward, and back. Now stay here. You could even inhale as you reach or like lift your torso up flat back still, like straight back. Inhale, exhale, fold down. No forcing here, just being gentle. I'm also not putting pressure on my wrist, I'm just being gentle. I could even release this without um, putting pressure, right? So we're just really stretching the hamstrings and maybe giving it a massage again, this time on the left side. And some chop, chop. <laughs> All right. Okay, now you're just going to send both of your feet in front of you here. Okay, we're going to transition to boat pose. So you want to grab both of your heels and you're going to lift one or right leg halfway to a boat pose and then the other. Now engage your core and then right leg lift all the way up and then the left. Good job. Now try to straighten your elbows here. Relax your shoulders. It should be away from your ears. So you're not stressed like this or tense, right? You want to send that down the shoulders. Beautiful. And then engage your core. We're holding. Breathing in and out. All right. So try to see if you could let go of your heels. Hands will be placed to your sides. Good job. Now we're going to hold this. Point the toes. Three. Two, legs are shaking and that's what you want. One, and then grab the heels again. <laughs> Who breathe. All right, release the hands again. Three, two, and one. Grab at your heels. Okay, this time we're gonna lo slowly lower all the way down for 10 counts, all right? You're gonna try to hold it as much as you can, but slowly lowering with each count. Ready for 10, nine, drop it, eight, slowly, seven with control, you got this, six, five, four, three, two, Hold it, hold, and all the way down. One, 
<laughs> this is not Shavasana yet. We're not done yet. <laughs> so you're going to send your right knee in and hug your knee. Then straighten the leg. Bend your knee and straighten. Bend your knee and then straighten. Good job. Now doing it on the other side. Bend the left knee. Hug it and straighten. With each hugging, you want to really send it as close, you know, compress your body and then straighten. Send it in. You could even move it to your side and then straighten. Good job. Last one. Bend the knee and then straighten the leg. Drop it all the way down. Okay, now your right knee will cross over to your left side. We're just doing supine. Hang on, let me just adjust my mic here. Making sure. All right, supine twist. So right knee, it doesn't matter if that right knee is not touching the mat. It doesn't have to touch. You're just really focusing on that yummy twist here. All right, now the other side, right leg straightens, left knee bends, and cross it over to your right side. Breathing, feeling the yummy twist. Okay, drop it all the way down, back to center. Now this time, bend both of your knees. Okay, and you are going to extend one leg, left leg extends, and lift your head. Making sure that you're really pressing your lumbar on the mat. Okay, and then we're going to switch. Right leg straightens, left knee bends. Okay, switch again. Point the toe, that is, point both toes, <laughs> just to be easier. And then switch. Switch again. All right, pressing your lumbar on the mat. And then for a little bit more of a challenge, you can keep your hands to your sides here. Head is lifted for 10. Switch. Nine. Switch. Eight. Switch. Seven. Switch. Six. Switch. Five. Switch. Four. Three. Reach, reach forward. Switch. Three. <laughs> two, and last one, one. Now extend both your legs, hold it for three, two, and all the way down, one. Whoo, <laughs> good job. <laughs> now last pose. <laughs> Before we end with Shavasana, bend both of your knees and you can try to um, measure the distance of your feet with your heels here. So you could have it like just a little bit you can have it like as close to your fingertips or a little bit apart. Now your feet will be a little bit wider than your hips, just a little bit. We're going to do bridge pose, send your hips up, making sure you're not puffing out your chest. I want you again to tuck in your rib cage and as you lift your hips, you're going to squeeze the glutes. <laughs> Holding this for 10, 9, tuck in your rib cage, 8, Seven, holding, squeeze the glutes, six, five, four, three, two, squeeze, 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 and one. Release all the way down. Good job. All right, now you're gonna uh, close your fists here, and you're just gonna bend your elbows, and we're gonna do 10, right? So lift it up for 10. Drop it down. Nine, eight, squeeze the glutes, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and last one. One, hold, hold, squeeze, squeeze, and all the way down. <laughs> all right, now extend both of your legs and we're gonna rest in Shavasana.
You can continue laying down. I'm just going to end this video. Observe how you're feeling now after the practice. Your legs should be a little bit more loosened up and hopefully you feel great. Thank you so much guys for practicing with me today and I hope to see you again on my next class. Namaste friends! Bye!